What's up guys? Uh, today, vlog 591. That means we're only nine away from 600. That's spectacular. And in my promise to you guys to always bring you the best possible cool car content, as well as beach life and, you know, pretty much anything else that's cool. Today I'm headed south. I'm going down to El Segundo. I'm gonna meet up with my friend Greg Gill from the Automobile Driving Museum. It's got a red convertible. I don't know what it is. But we're gonna be driving that car down to the Palos Verdes Peninsula. And I'm gonna be doing a photo shoot for an upcoming article in Hidden Hills Magazine. We're in Palos Verdes, and it's as gorgeous as ever, Greg. Ever. Uh, every time I come down here, it's just like paradise. This is what's known as the bottom of the Queen's Necklace, and Malibu is the top. Look at that. Oh, stunning. stole a couple of shots from this church. Pretty nice location. So we're looking for really cool locations to shoot the car. The problem is that every location is a good location. <laughs> We stopped in front of this really tiny little Hell's Birdies home. Yeah, it's probably tiny, but the car looks cool. There's Greg. So Greg, what does driving a convertible mean to you? The world is with us. <laughs> and we are with the world. We are with the world. got an email from the new coffee place that's opening up in town called Cafe Lux and they said uh, come on by have some free coffee Woo so that's what we're gonna do but it's about a mile walk so we might see something cool along the way
filming. Oh, okay. Uh, we're at Cafe Lux. We just walked from the house, and uh, this is Gary, who is uh, owner and 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 partner. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. This is your place. Yes. My, uh, mine and Mark Wayne, my best friend. And you guys have what three of these places? We have three now. Okay. Yep. I don't know. I can barely concentrate because the smell oh, is amazing. Oh, good. Glad you I like can't it. wait to have. <laughs> we ordered some lattes. Uh, it's going to be really good. I can tell. What's the most exciting thing about doing something like this for you? Uh, for us, it's just kind of the expansion of making friendships and building communities wherever we go. You got a great so, location. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. What uh, Mark and I decided to do when we left kind of the big corporate was that we wanted to work and own and be in small businesses. Yeah. And this to us as a kind of a European style coffee shop yeah. is all about your local neighbors and supporting each other. It's fantastic, yeah. fantastic. So what do you recommend if someone uh, comes over to this to this establishment for the first time? Uh -huh. What's the best thing to have? Oh, I think our two best drinks that are the most popular are a cappuccino or a latte. All right, well, that's what we're having. What are we having, a latte? We're having a latte. <laughs> I don't care. All right, we're going to check it out. As if the latte wasn't enough, <laughs> I now have a cappuccino to try. No, please don't drink it. Uh, what, what is, what's the main difference between the two? Uh, so, um, both of them have the same double shot of espresso. Okay. Uh, but then the difference is really about the milk. So, a cappuccino has less milk than a latte. Okay. And then, technically, a cappuccino has thicker foam. Is there more caffeine? Uh, no, same amount of caffeine. Yes. Oh man, I'm in trouble. And I gotta, wa I gotta walk home with you. <laughs> to walk the dogs. <laughs> over and over and over and over. Here's to Kathy. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Incredible. But you know, it's still not, Longer. it doesn't burn you. It's no. th that perfect temperature. Which is what? What's the perfect temperature? Uh, up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Up to. We don't want to give away the secret temperature. <laughs> Only Cafe Lux is. You get All right, what's the difference between what you just had? Uh, well, that the latte had almond milk in it, so it was a little sweeter. This has cow's milk, otherwise known as milk. <laughs> and, and it's not sweet, and it's a little stronger, and it's in a smaller cup. It has this really cool design on top, which <laughs> makes me really not want to drink it, because it's just really pretty. I want to take a picture of it first. Okay, we'll make you another one. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be here all day to drink <laughs> oh, man. That was some of the best coffee I've ever had, I think. Oh, I know. But the interesting thing about that is that these guys were the guys that were providing coffee for Malibu Farm, which is on the pier. And we didn't know that. And that coffee was spectacular. Interesting. Yes, really smooth stuff. Uh, there's gonna be an event next Wednesday, a week, uh, next week, where they're gonna have a kind of a grand opening. And we're gonna be there. And if all goes well, I'm gonna bring a cool car. Enormous day. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of wiped. Lots of really cool stuff. That new coffee place looks spectacular. If that coffee wasn't enough, I'm now going up into town to meet with the Grafman at a Starbucks just to talk about some things. You know, hanging out with Grafman is always kind of fun. He's kind of kooky, but has a great sense of humor. So we're going to go hang out. But no, I'm not going to have any coffee. Sometimes you have really big days, epic days, and this is one of those days to where there are so many things going on at one time. Uh, I feel like I'm I'm juggling like eight balls with with like two fingers. Had a great time with Greg uh, driving down in Palos Verdes doing setting up that the shoot for Hidden Hills magazine. That car was absolutely spectacular. 
Came back, hung out with Kathy, went out to the coffee place, to Cafe Lux. Uh, incredible place. They're going to be having an event, as I mentioned, next Wednesday. We're going to be putting some stuff together. Going to have some cool cars there. If you want something to do next Wednesday, come and join us. Come and, come and hang out. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what time the ribbon cutting ceremony or whatever that's going to be is going to, going to happen, but I'll let you guys know. Just keep watching the vlog. It'll be right here. Working on uh, Wheels and Waves, the poster for that. Here's the cool car that's going to be going on the poster. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. That's kind of a secret thing. I'm not going to really show anybody that. And then Garage Style Magazine appeared. There's the latest issue of Garage Style. Yep, there's an article that basically says I'm going to be writing and that's going to be the cool stuff that's coming up. GarageStyle.com, I guess. A little bit of package, packaging, package-ness. Who's this from? Kyle. Oh, this is... This is from Kyle and his parents. His dad reached out to me, said they had a great time. Appreciate being on the blog. Sent me a package uh, with a couple of things. I'm not really sure I remember what it was. So let's open it and find out. I see clothing, lots of stuff. Uh, Tim, my friend at Mercedes said to get your shirts one size larger too to shrinkage. Awesome, guys. Uh, this is from Kyle and his family. Kyle, you are a cool little kid. Look at that. Look at these cool shirts uh, from Big thanks to Mercedes-Benz. They picked these up. If you have a friend that works for Mercedes, check it out. Cool Mercedes shots. I think that's my favorite so far. I can't find it. There it is. Check it out. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kyle. Especially cool little kid. Uh, amazing. You never know who you're going to run into. Kids are starting early. Kids are starting early. And, and that's the important thing is to instill in little kids the, the aspect of love. That they, they love cars. you got to feed them cars. If they love art, you got to feed them art. If they love going to the movies, you got to feed them going to the movies. Dude, I got hat hair beyond belief. What is up with that? Yeah, better. All right, we have an incredible amount of stuff. And I, I kid you not, that's going to be coming up this week. Starting with tomorrow, uh, we're going to be heading to the Long Beach Aquarium. We're going to be doing an event with Honda down there. We're going to check out the new Honda Clarity hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Then on Sunday, I'm going to be joining my friend Michael Axon. We're going to be grabbing a couple of English cars, and we're going to be going to Supercar Sunday and to the Woodley Park English car show. God save the queen. That's what we're going to be doing over the weekend. A bunch of stuff there. But next week, oh my God, next week there's an epic amount of stuff. Starting on Monday, Volvo is sending me their new S90 big sedan of awesomeness. And then we're going to be doing all kinds of other stuff. If you're subscribed to the show, I really appreciate you hanging out with us. You know, we are, we are doing our best to, to get you guys to break out, to break out of your mold, to break out of your life, to break out of the humdrum, average, everyday kind of thing, and go do something fun. And breaking out requires courage. It requires a tremendous amount of courage. You gotta identify what you want, and then you gotta take steps to go after it. And that's what we do here on the vlog. We wanna show you guys that you can actually love what you do and do what you love. And if you'll stick with us, we're gonna do that on a daily basis. We're closing in on episode 600. Stay tuned, we got a big weekend and a week ahead. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys.